guys, it's Darren, DeVille Vinyl. Thanks for checking out my channel. I want to do a quick update on some stuff I've gotten over the last couple weeks. Got a good uh, variety of genres. Smorgasbord, cornucopia of records here. And a couple of my purchases were um, <clears throat> influenced by some other members of the VC. So we'll get started here. The first one. I was watching uh, one of my favorite channels, Arden, from Smell the Vinyl. He showed this record. It was a soundtrack, and I thought, wow, that's a classic movie. It's been out forever, and I've never seen it. So, Vilma and I, we watched it one weekend. This was about a month or so ago. We actually watched it twice, and... Uh, then uh, about a week or so ago, I was at a record shop flipping through some records. Sure enough, I found it. Uh, Easy Rider soundtrack. I haven't listened to this yet. I um, have so many pickups that I'm playing catch up on uh, my listening. So maybe today I'll get a chance to listen to this. I'm, I'm brewing right now. I'm in the middle of brewing an IPA. So maybe... Um, I'm done with the video, I'll pop this on. But, yep. It is on the Dunhill label. <clears throat> Easy Rider, good movie. Couldn't believe the ending. Was not expecting that. But, that's that. Then, um, got an email from Merch Bar, they were having a sale, 30% off some records. I think they're still having it, as a matter of fact, Merch Bar. So, um, I think for this Memorial Day weekend, we're doing 30% off some records. And I picked up two from there. Uh, Bob Marley, this is uh, Abbey Road's 75th anniversary, Half Speed Mastering. Natty Dread. Um, sounds fantastic. Just listen to it. I finally got a chance to listen to this this morning. Uh, when I started brewing, I, I popped it on. Now, it doesn't say 180 gram vinyl, but this vinyl is pretty chunky, so I'm guessing it's got to be 180 gram. Marley, Natty Dread, Half Speed Mastering, and again, another Bob Marley, Abbey Road, Mastering, Half Speed, Uprising, same label, this one. This one sounds better than Natty Dread. When I first put this on, I couldn't believe the quality of the audio. Just punchy, crispy, <clears throat> nice highs, mids, lows. Just all around great sounding record. This was the first, these are the first two half speed masterings I have. I don't know if I'm just convincing myself that they sound that much better. It's my imagination, but they sound fantastic. <clears throat> Then uh, again, watching one of my favorite channels, This Is Music. Uh, again, hmm, maybe about a month ago, he uh, Kim was bought some stuff from Jawbreaker Records. So I thought, hey, let me go check this site out. So went there, and uh, sure enough, I made some purchases. I think they're in Sweden, Sweden, <clears throat> and. By the time I purchased it and I got it, it was within two weeks, so I couldn't believe it. I thought, okay, they're coming from Sweden, this is going to take this is going to take a month or whatever, but within two weeks I had these. Uh, first one, Ambush. This is just some great 80s, well, this, this was released I think in 2015 or 12, but it's just your typical 80s metal great record 
So there's the back. I think it this says it's on piss piss yellow vinyl. It's ambush or Swedish metal band. Really like this. I've listened to it once so far. Again, I'll probably throw this on today as well. Give it another try. This band, this is uh, they're classified as doom metal, um, and you do hear some doom metal. Uh, definitely on the second. The second uh, side is definitely the more the more the record goes on, the more doomier it gets. First side, not so much, but you do hear some Black Sabbath influence. Hadron, Evil Lady. But look at this cover. I mean, this looks like this looks like a bad family picture, man. I don't know what's going on with this guy here, but this just looks like. Somebody went up into the mountains and found these guys and snapped a picture of them. But, uh, good album. Uh, came with the lyrics. Yeah, Doom Metal, like I said, it doesn't, first side, not too much, not too doomy, but you do hear some Sabbath influence, but once you flip it over, and as the second side goes on, it gets doomier and doomier as it goes, <clears throat> and this is the third and last one I got from Jawbreaker, um, this one, I think is my favorite out of the three, Under the Influence, I'm not sure how you pronounce Coltra, Coulter, Coulter, C O L T R E. Um, they sound like the first side is is more like an Iron Maiden, early Maiden, with uh, Paul Diano Maiden, where it's a little raw, a little some metal with maybe a little bit of rawness to it. The second side, so there, this is an EP. First side has three songs, second side has two. The last one here is an instrumental on the second side. This um, Plague Doctor, the first song on the second side. Very, it's like um, the Four Horsemen from Metallica. It's just an epic, first of all, it's, and it doesn't say how many minutes it is here, but um, it's a long song, and it's got that galloping, driving riff. Um, so there's uh, definitely a lot of Iron Maiden Metallica influence. This came out in two, 2015, yeah. Um, not sure if this is the only thing this band has put out. But I'll be definitely looking out for more of their stuff. This this album kicks butt. Um, and this came with all kinds of goodies. So, came with an inner lining picture. So, the weird thing is there's three members. There's no drummer credited here. You got two guitar players, a vocalist, and a bassist. No drummer. So, I'm not sure what happened there. Lyrics. Poster of the album cover. They like said this this came with all kinds of goodies in here. Sticker, band sticker, download. And last but not least, postcard.
So that's Coltra or Coulter, I'm not sure how that's pronounced. But great. I love this. Love this album. Like I said, I'm gonna be looking out for more stuff from these guys. That old school Metallica Iron Maiden sound. Oh yeah. I'll take that all day. And this one I showed in another video, but this I just picked up. It's the UFO Phenomenon. And this is the Deluxe Edition. It's a gatefold. It's got a great... It's got a great write-up on... It's the... The history of, it's the beginning history of UFO from the beginning until Michael Shanker joined the band and they made this album. So, yeah, I sat here, listened to their album and I read this great, great little write up there. Um, so it comes with, comes with uh, the original album. These sleeves are pretty cool. They're like uh, editor's notes from the studio. I think it's actually the, the I think they're original markups. Um, and then it came with a second LP, which is again some editor's notes. But this is live. This is the, live from 70, 1974, their first tour, their first U.S. tour, uh, May 1974. Oh, here, live, live at the Electric Ballroom, USA, 1974. So it came with the original Phenomenon album, and then also that live album, live from 74, great, sounds great. The Rock Bottom is probably one of my favorite all-time guitar riffs. Between that and Whole Lot of Rosie, two of my favorites. From a whole lot of Rosies, you know, ACDC, so my UFO. Nah, let me put this back a little bit. Alright, then. Um, I was on Audiophile USA, and I got a couple psychedelic records. This is a Datura 4. I just, I actually just bought this. It was a blind buy. I just bought it because of the album cover. I wanted to pick up some psychedelic. Uh, now this is kind of like psychedelic rock, psychedelic blues. <clears throat> There's the back. Here's the label. Kind of reminds me of Ride and Easy Records. But this is their first. I think they have three out. I, was, I looked them up. I think they have three out. This is their first release. This was sealed when I bought it. This came out in 2015. But yeah, it's like psych rock, psych blues. And this one I saw, and I think they labeled it as Spanish, psychedelic Spanish. And again, blind buy, but I bought it because of the cover. I and mean, look at that thing. But I would say this is more funk. It's all in Spanish. Casa Nostra. That's the name of the band. It's all in Spanish. It's more like funk, 70s funk. There is some psychedelic in there. And there is some rock in there. But I would say this is more, more funk than, than anything else. It's good. It's on Lazarus. 
I've only listened to this once, so I'll listen to it again. But they were uh, Audiophile USA was having a sale too, so I took advantage of that. And picked up a couple blind buys, and like I said, I was in the mood to pick up some psychedelic. I don't have too much psychedelic, but um, so. And the last one, <clears throat> this band, they're not even around anymore. I showed one of their records last year, one of my first videos, Carolina Chocolate Drops. This is old time Americana. Um, you can see this guy's playing the Bones. I don't know if you ever, if anyone's ever heard of the Bones, but they're they actually used to be Bones, uh, rib Bones, and it was like a percussion instrument. But he plays banjo, guitar, bones, harmonica. She plays the fiddle and the banjo. Really good banjo player. This guy plays banjo, mandolin, guitar, and the bones. Good old-time Americana, traditional stuff. They broke up. She, she went solo. She actually married an Irish guy and lives, lives in Ireland. And still doing traditional music. He's doing his own thing now. Um, he's got a stick. They both have solo records out now. But um, they've probably, probably been broken up now for probably a good six, seven, eight years. We were lucky enough to see them live before they broke up. We got to see them. With great... Uh, especially this time of year, I, I love in the summertime listening to some good old time bluegrass stuff like that. And when I'm out in the yard or something, I'll, I'll put that on. So, yep, that's it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy your weekend. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in Pennsylvania. So, uh, we'll see you again.